Hello, my Leo babies. It's Maria, InsightfulAstrology.com. Welcome to your November forecast. This is absolutely going to be a pivotal month for you, and you're going to want to hear your forecast. But before I get started with that, I have such an exciting announcement to make. I have been waiting so long to open this up to you. Finally, the membership option on my YouTube channel is live, and if you want to connect with me more and find more amazing astrology content, please click that join button, which is next to the subscribe button on the home page of the channel. And you can explore the three different levels that I have on my membership platform. Each level brings you more and more astrology content. Some of what I'm able to offer my members my 2022 special year ahead video forecasts for each sign where I give you very detailed analysis on the big astrological events for 2022 and how to use them to your best advantage. I also have my astrological love style video series where I go through Venus and Mars in all 12 signs and depending on your Venus and Mars placement it talks about your astrological love and sex style and anybody else's. So this is really valuable information and my favorite thing about membership are the live streams. In these live streams if you are a level 3 member you will get exclusive access to participate in this live stream where you give me your date, time, location of birth, ask me your life question, and I will answer using your astrology. And I will also explain how I'm getting my predictions and how I'm getting this information. So it becomes me being your personal astrologer for a little while, but also a very educational tool. So this is just some of the amazing content that I can now offer members. Of course, you're still going to get your free monthly video horoscopes and other astrology content. You don't have to subscribe, but these are extras should you choose to do so. So go ahead and check it out. Now, let's talk about you, Leo, because we're starting eclipse season in November and I'm seeing big changes ahead. So many changes, but I will begin with the new moon. The new moon occurs on November 4th and it lands in your home and family sector. And it says new beginnings in a home situation for you are happening. Maybe you're ready to start construction on a new home or maybe you are moving. Maybe you are, there's a new opportunity between you and a relative. But this new moon is so unstable. And Leo, it's going to require you to do something radically different in your life in order to take advantage of this new homeland security opportunity that I'm seeing for you. Why am I saying this? Well, the new moon is exactly opposite the planet Uranus. And Uranus is at the top of your chart, your career sector. This is your, your, your calling in life. But... The 10th house and the 4th house is also the parental axis. So there could be a big new beginning for you in a home family situation that comes because of an unexpected twist with a parent. And I don't know what that twist is going to be. I don't know if it's a behavior, if, if it's, you know, for some it could be a health situation, not all. Could be behavior, could be you suddenly deciding to separate yourself from living with your parents, let's say, if you've been living with them for a long time. It could be your parents suddenly announcing, hey, we're getting divorced, okay? Doesn't matter how old you are, that will come as a surprise, right? It could be so many different things. But just understand that the big theme here is a brand new beginning in home family dynamics or with real estate, but it comes with a very unexpected twist that either involves a parent, an authority figure, or your career. So you might get an unexpected career opportunity that requires you to relocate. See, you know, it's all gonna be somehow related. And you may not know exactly what to do in this, in this situation. You may have an opportunity to suddenly change your status by moving in with somebody and making a commitment, getting married. And this is gonna cause you a lot of stress and destabilization because this new moon 
is tying into the planet Saturn, which is now in your partnership sector, by square. So this is a hard aspect to Saturn. So it could be that this new home situation is really causing some conflict in making you see, okay, I've got to make a big commitment now and be mature and responsible. And this person won't move in with me unless I put a ring on it. Or this person won't get married unless I say, yes, we're having children. Okay, these are some possibilities. Or it could be suddenly one of your parents doesn't approve of the person that you're partnered with and this causes problems at home. These are all possible scenarios and and I'm trying to be very thorough here because the thing about Uranus and Uranus is so heavy in November for everybody but the frustrating thing about the planet Uranus is that you can never really predict Uranus because Uranus the essence of Uranus is its unpredictable nature so just when you think it's going to go one way Uranus is like haha and goes a different way but Uranus is there in your 10th house of career, of your calling in life, your reputation, one of your parents, so the Uranian factor will bleed out in one or more of those areas somehow. And yet, you have this brand new beginning at home to enjoy. So, moving on. Venus, the planet of love and money and self-worth, will go into your 6th house of work and health and service on the 5th. And Venus is going to hang out here for quite some time because next month she goes retrograde. But for now, Venus in your sixth house is going to really lend support to those helpers in your life. Anybody that you hire to do any kind of job, these are people who are going to deliver value this month to you. And you're going to be really pleased with their performance. It is also a time where if you are single, completely single, you could meet a new love interest through work at the gym, while you're going to a doctor's appointment, while you are applying for a job or going on an interview, that kind of a thing. It's all possible with Venus there in your sixth house. And then we have the next volatile aspect in the sky that occurs on the 17th. And of course, Uranus is involved. Mars, also in your fourth house of home, family, real estate, is going to oppose Uranus at the top of your chart on the 17th. And I mean, if you were to Google Mars, Uranus, hard aspects, like the square or the opposition, it it can be a little unnerving what you'll read because this is a volatile, accident-prone energy. And here's why it's an accident-prone energy. Uranus is like that lightning, unexpected stuff, right? Mars is the planet of action and energy, but also aggravation and inflammation and war. So there could be this unexpected war, unexpected aggravation, unexpected outburst, unexpected violence even, unexpected accident, because Uranus is gonna stimulate the reckless potential of Mars. And I have to say, please be aware of the possibility of an unexpected accident or an unexpected fight at home between you and one of your parents between you and someone you live with this could be an unexpected accident that relates to home or your career on the job you may get hurt potentially or while you're home doing some kind of construction project uh, you might get hurt and it doesn't have to be serious it could be a minor thing But the reason why I'm even talking about this, Leo, is so that you can have an awareness around the 17th in your brain enough to slow down and prevent it. Because when accidents happen under Mars Uranus energy, they always happen because you do something too fast and you don't think and you're being really impulsive. So if you rein it in and and chill out, you can prevent it. And I'm going to give you a perfect example. My future daughter-in-law, two years ago, had the planet Uranus square her natal Mars by transit. And so I, you know, was tracking this for her. I'm like, oh boy, you know, it is an accident-prone energy, but how is it, how could it come out? 
Well, we were having a barbecue one day in my yard and I put corn on the cob. I put corn on the stove in, in boiling water. And I said, Brianna, can you just, you know, watch the corn and when it's done, drain it because I was going with my son's friend to Home Depot to get something for a light. He was installing a light for me in my in my new bathroom. And she was like, okay, no problem. Well, I'm out with my son's friend at Home Depot and, and I get a frantic phone call from my son, who is a Leo. <laughs> and she ended up was rushing and, and had her mind on something else that she had to do. And I just basically plopped the corn and said, handle the corn for me. And she rushed and picked up the corn and went to go dump it into the sink, into the colander, but wasn't paying attention. And the hot boiling water went on her bare feet and she had significant burns, second degree burns. That is so Mars Uranus so fast all because rushing thinking about something else um unexpected you know this happened and then this happened and then i had to leave her with the corn and she was doing something else and she didn't want to deal with the corn but you know her future mother-in-law left her with the corn i know this is a very long-winded story and i'm not telling you the story to scare you i'm telling it to you to make you aware of this quick passing energy and that you can control it if you are very slow, deliberate, deliberate, be deliberate and be slow. Right around the 16th, the 17th, the 18th, right around those days, you can avoid an outburst that you'll later regret, or you can avoid an actual physical little issue. And I'll leave it at that, okay? So let's talk about the eclipse. I love the eclipse for you. I love the eclipse for everybody. I am such a fan of this eclipse. If I had pom-poms and could be a cheerleader, I would. This eclipse happens on the 19th at the top of your chart, the 10th house, in late degree Taurus. And this eclipse is an empowering, fulfilling one because it's making a perfect trine to Pluto, the planet of power, in your sixth house of work. So you might have a big career win at the time of this eclipse. You could get your dream job. You can have some kind of, you know, get the accolades, the, the glory that you've been waiting for professionally. It might come your way at, at this eclipse time. What is really supportive about this eclipse though is that the Lord, the ruler of this eclipse is Venus and Venus is now in your sixth house of work and will make a perfect trine to Uranus at the top of your chart. So finally, Uranus is getting a happy aspect, a good boost. And when Uranus is positively aspected, we have liberation and sudden change that helps us grow and helps us succeed wildly, very quickly. And with Venus trying Uranus, this is big money that can come suddenly through your career, a great job opportunity, a great, uh, a great opportunity to feel valued and validated and appreciated professionally and this is coming your way i see it for you leo all right so drop some comments below and let me know how this eclipse pans out for you i always love reading about that and i hope you found your november forecast helpful if i can connect with you deeper on a personal level click the link in the description box below and we'll be talking very soon bye